What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, enjoying the last few days of summer and soon school starts again for a 32 year old. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna stay alive just a bit longer, I have to finish this video. We got some more news yesterday on Tekken 7 Season Pass 2 and great stuff. A lot of people told me with the first trailer that we're probably gonna release it by the end of the year. Nope! I said I believe in Bandai Namco, it's gonna be within a month. And I was correct, but it's even faster. It releases on September 6th. That's it! I mean, you can count the days on two hands. Basically, I mean, it's very soon. And as you can see, we got more info. They even showed the uh, three trailers. One for Anna, Lei, and then the balance patching and the new mechanic, Wall Bounce. But, uh, so, it's, it's so very soon released. Season Pass 2 will be roughly $28, Anna and Lei will release at the same time, both avail available separately for roughly $5 to $6. And the new mechanic, Combo Assist! A lot of people got really upset on with this one. Combo Assist from Storm Mode will be added for online modes, not available in, in tournament mode. What this means is that, is that in online mode and probably in offline modes, you will have access to um, a Combo Assist system. But you can simply engage, and then the combos work just like in uh, Dragon Ball uh, Z Fighters. You know, pressing either square or triangle over and over and over will do a, a basic combo. So a lot of people are like, oh god, how powerful are those basic combos going to be? Probably not very powerful, and those of us who are not casual players will of course keep doing our optimized combos for... Be, uh, best wall travel, you know, maximize the damage, oh I want to go with an Oki Ender. But sometimes we do drop our combos, it happens. Especially online. Is this combo system going to be completely broken in uh, laggy games? People will only have to press one button and they will always get their staple. So I'm a bit worried on that one, but hopefully it doesn't hurt uh, the game. Not a whole lot of casuals left either way, so I think most people won't use that, but ah, a bit iffy on that one, but I guess it's a rather welcome change for beginners. And this one I do like, you will now see how far away you are from a promotion match, an XP bar has been added to show the points required for the next rank. Um, we're gonna show the picture of this this is what it looks like so as you can see behind my head here uh, Lei can see how far he has to go to get the next rank this one and here to the far left there you can see the actual progression now I'm pointing in the right direction plus 1100 points from this rank to this rank you can see the progression finally I gotta say I've been wanting something like this since what second 5 DR online ever since we've had rank games online and uh, so finally we're getting this feature why the fuck did it take so long but Michael Murray from Badai Namco said that they were afraid that if people saw how far how close they were to a demotion they would drop out of uh, they would stop playing and they would drop out of death matches but people plug either way and keep their ranks I mean <laughs> yeah you guys Drop the ball either way, but th th this is really good. Thanks for that, Bandai Namco. So, new wall bounce bound moves given to each character to increase wall combo damage. So I'm gonna say straight away that you'll be able to do both the bound, the normal bound, and the wall bounce in the same combo. So combos are going to get way crazier now on wall stages. Way crazier. Uh, and var and uh, character balancing will also be released with Season 2, so on the septem September 6th, all the characters will have gone through balance uh, uh, updates. So that's great. And we're gonna watch the, the last trailer now. I'm not gonna bother with Anna and Lei. Watch those on your own, you bastard. But uh, we're gonna watch uh, the trailer that shows balance patching and uh, the new wall bounce combo mechanic. Uh, so we're gonna see it in action, good stuff. Uh, the footage, the footage is gonna look like shit because I get copyright strikes left and right from Bandai Namco, even though I'm their biggest fan. But uh, let's just look at this together and try and break it down like I did with the last trailer. So let's go. 
That's a punish. A new while standing punish from Claudio. Uh, so the footage is a bit sped up. Uh, but we're gonna watch that again. I blocks Dragon Tail, so that's minus a million. Uh, no idea what that move is. But it wall bounces. That, that, those are two new strings uh, in one combo. But looks great for those of you like Claudio. Uh, Katarina, I know nothing about Katarina. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> no. But uh, Shaheen looked really cool. No idea what it is. But this is very interesting. So I've seen, I saw this before. Chloe can jump over lows into her back turn stance. So she jumps, dodges, crushes lows, goes into back turn stance, recovers immediately, super fast, and can go do her super high damage uh, move. Massive buff for Chloe, without a doubt. Uh, that string hurts like hell, and now she has uh, another way of using it. Power crush Gigas into the while standing 4-2, which we saw in uh, the previous video. Uh, I thought this was, was going to be an enormous buff for Gigas, but while standing 4 is not 12 frames, it's 13 frames. And 14 frames if it hits from quite far away. So, oh, good buff, but it's, not, it's nothing amazing, I'd say. Kazumi using her evasive shit. And this is insane. So they buffed uh, Paul. This is his classic move, forward 1-4. He sidesteps, does a shoulder barge. It's a classic Paul move, I like to use it. It just knocks down. But so in season 2, it's gonna knock down into a guaranteed death fist. I'm not entirely sure Paul needed a buff, and this is a pretty big buff. Um, so yeah, I, I have no idea what we're thinking here with Paul. <laughs> Uh, so, Laws sidestep 3 4 uh, screws. I mean, I could be wrong, but it doesn't screw right now, right? No, this is a big buff. So, buff for Law. Uh, Fengwei is down for 2 2, wall bounce. Great move, it's perfectly safe, so that's really good for him. Uh, just like we saw in previous trailer, quarter circle forward 1 plus 2 with Brian is his wall bounce. Uh, some Yoshi shenanigans here. Uh, King has a sidestep clothesline uh, that launches. Uh, it seems really fast. So a good addition to King. I'm sure Lil Margin is gonna enjoy that. Uh, whatever, Jack. Uh, Alright, so yeah, exactly. Did Dragonov need a buff? I don't know. But the thing is, we're just seeing positive alterations to the characters. Stuff people want to see in a trailer. Of course we're not gonna show, oh look how minus he is now on this move. So, it looks, t just watching this trailer, superficially it looks like they've buffed the top tiers, but obviously they're not showing the nerfs. But so I know that uh, back uh, forward one by Fengwei is minus 15, I think. So uh, this must be a 15 frame move. Could it even be 14? Because he has a down for two at 15. Could this be a 14 frame move? I don't know, but it looks super powerful. <laughs> looks really good. Uh, Leo is Leo. Uh, right? While standing free? Or no, that's while standing four, right? Yes. Yeah, nothing too interesting. This is a basic moves that now have a wall bounce. But this is interesting. Lars can do that, uh, that, uh, spin a Rooney thing into stance. Silent entry. He couldn't do that before. And that combo looks really cool. Uh, let's see, Huarang. Okay. Uh, but this, uh, just as we saw in the last trailer, uh, Steve's new Rage Drive Sonic Fang that launches. And here they just confirm that it's 14 frames by having him punish Jack's down for 2, which is minus 14. Sonic Fang, easy mode, 
14 frame massive launch punish that screw can, you can screw from. This is an insane buff to, to Mr. Steve. Insane buff. And here, what we were all waiting for, me, you watching, we all love Kazuya, the best Tekken character, I mean, let's be honest, that's why you watch my stuff. So here I was like, okay, bring it to me, show me the enormous buff, he needs a buff. But uh, it's just like, uh, if you play Tekken Revolution, Kazuya's downford 1-2 would knock down like this into a guaranteed stop. So now it gets forward, forward, forward. But this is not Tekken Revolution Kazuya, it's Tekken 7 Kazuya, so it's a bit different. He doesn't do the classic downward 1 2 with the high Overlord Smash. He does into his down back 2 in Tekken 7. So that's mid. So now we have a downward 1 2 uh, that gives us a guaranteed forward, forward, forward into Oki because they backflip from the forward, 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 like so, giving us a good Oki semi situation. This is good, and it probably does 50 damage on its own. Around 50 damage, I think. And it can't be ducked and while standing punished, because it's mid-mid. Uh, the last hit is minus 12. They, they, they will get a what, minus 12 while standing punish. Uh, not too much, you know. And I had to test this in practice mode, but uh, the second hit actually realigns. It tracks to his weak side. So I'll probably be able to use this as a wave dash mix up as well. Downward 1 is very steppable to his weak side, but the second punch will always realign and catch them. So this is interesting, but I sure hope he got something else as well, because yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a good addition, but something else would be nice too. And this is super interesting. 3-1 uh, into Zen stance. Uh, nice change for Jin. I guess you Jin mains are gonna love that one. Ford 1 plus 2, completely useless move uh, for Devil Jin. Uh, a homing move no one ever uses. It's his wall bounce move. So that's a really bad move for him to have as a wall bounce in my opinion. And it sucks that in this trailer we don't see Kazuya's wall bounce move. I'm hoping it's crouch dash 3. You know, the Hell Lancer kick ender. Oh god. How sick wouldn't that be? It would ruin his uh, Okiseme from it, uh, because it recovers so fast on wall stages. But imagine do a doing a long combo into Bound, into Crouch Dash 3, enormous damage, and it bounces them from the wall. I'm coming, just thinking about it. It would be so epic. And uh, yeah, with Heihachi, a lot of things have happened. So let's break this down. Uh, first up, Sidestep 2-1 launches. Big buff. And he can do his fucking rage drive. It used to be back 2, 1 plus 2. But now he can do it from 1 back 2 into rage drive. Do you have any idea what this does for his pressure? No one's ever gonna push buttons against Seachi anymore. Well, I mean, not like people did it anyway. He's gonna do 1 back 2. One back two. I mean, it's just gonna troll you with one back two because you just won't press any buttons and then suddenly it's gonna bait you. One back two, rage drive. Big buff. And it will probably do a lot for his combos as well. Uh, and Omen Thunder God Fist, uh, yeah, they've added a backflip to it. So it doesn't knock them away anymore, it, it backflips them into pressure. But yeah, I don't know how re reliable it's gonna be as uh, the Omen from the God Fist, as a bound under there. No, after his rage drive, it's kind of clunky to get to hit, but yeah, it's there. Uh, there we see uh, Nina Nina. Uh, Bob up for 1 plus 2 into the roll. That's a big buff. Big buff for Bob. Uh, power Crush, stun. Uh, this kind of surprised me. Lee, you're like, oh, we're gonna buff the shit out of him. But his wall bounce move is Hitman Stance Upward Free. That's not a move you have access to easily, and it's kind of slow. So you won't be able to use it in combos, I guess? I don't know, just... And then nothing out of the ordinary is shown. So I'm like... as If I was a Lee player, I wouldn't be coming right now. I'd probably be going... Okay. Hopefully there's more. Uh, but it just looks clunky. So magic 4 into forward 4-2. Uh, bound for uh, Miguel. Massive buff. 
bears doing bear things. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's like this now. I'm sure no. But uh, the helicopter uh, spin Rooney actually screws. Uh, so this is Eliza doing a 10 frame uh, jab into uh, full combo. That's scary. Uh, so that's Akuma doing Knee of the Gods into Demon Flip. Oh! Look at the pressure. The dive kick uh, staggers now on block. But don't tell me that's guaranteed. Ah, oh, he just didn't block, right? Ah, oh, there's no way that's guaranteed. I haven't even thought about that before, after watching the trailer. And this is also interesting, like, yeah, Geese is already quite powerful, but now they've added a wall bounce to, his, to this. I don't know, did he need that buff? Do you know how much he's gonna... I mean, it's hurt like hell even before eating a parry from Geese, but now it's like... Well, just drop the controller, you're dead. But I love geese, so yeah, bring it on. Predictable, predictable. Uh, and then it's Noctis. But, uh, so that's it. Like, uh, super interesting stuff. I hope you guys uh, find this as exciting uh, as I do. And I'm really looking forward to seeing like my main character, Kazuya, what more is gonna happen with him. Dragonov, Leo, Jack, Kazumi, how, Devil Jin, how have they nerfed them? What has happened to their movesets? Because uh, obviously I'm Paul, like something must have happened to those characters. Uh, and, and so cool to see Heihachi get so much love. Uh, don't forget that, you saw all of that new stuff for Heihachi, don't forget that he also, as we saw in the first trailer for season 2, his parry into the one option launches now, so he has a, he has a launching punch parry. Um, so yeah, uh, some really cool stuff, uh, only a few days left before we get season 2 and we'll be able to iron all of the details out and uh, yeah, I just can't wait to try this. And again, I'm so happy for those of you who love Anna and Lei. I mean, I find Anna charming. I don't have a lot of love for Lei, but those of you who do, I'm so happy for you guys. Um, so, that's it. A lot of new information to digest. Hope you're hyped. Hope you're hyped, guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, just have a nice day, and I'll see you later.